Uh, you're absolutely right. It's really important for there to be a, an, an understanding of, of others, um, to embrace others and, and make everyone feel welcome, like they're part of the team. The, the Army does that by shared experience, common experience, again, in, in basic training. You all show up from different areas. And what do they do? For the guys, they shave their heads, right? They take your civilian clothes and give you uniforms. And then you all stand there. And, and you, if you've seen the new, new recruits coming in there, and they all, you know, they all look the same. And so they start getting that, okay, well, now you're all soldiers. And the person to the left and to your right, that's your buddy. And you may have to rely on him or her to save your life, or you may save his or her. So you need to get to know that person. And so there's a shared, there's, there's a forcing function in that it, it, it forces you to learn about people that you wouldn't have learned about before. And it, and it helps you develop empathy. And, and that's one where I really, I really think that that's, that's really an important trait for, for people to have to try to understand what it's like to be someone unlike yourself. And I, I go back to one of my favorite movies is Remember the Titans. And um, my kids, you know, we used to have one of those minivans with the, with this, with the, you know, VCR in it. And the one movie that they know every word of it, because every time we went on a long trip, that's what we would watch. And they actually liked it too, but it was the, the scene where Coach Boone took the team to Gettysburg and, um, you know, try to form them into a team. Because as you remember, if those not familiar with the movie, it's, it, it's a true story. You know, it's a high school. In fact, I dragged drove by it not too long ago here in, the, in Virginia, Northern Virginia. And it's, it's about a, you know, school trying to work through um, race relations, you know, uh, you know, during a time on, on a football team where, you know, blacks were just joining the team and it was not a, it was not a good time. And so he's trying to, trying to build a team. And the way he did that was, you know, took him on a field trip. And then he put them in roommates and the, the two guys that hated each other, you know, and, and they said, okay, here's, ask these questions and you can't leave the room until you know all these questions about the person, other person. And it seems very, um, you know, very artificial. Okay. I'm just going to ask you a question. Who is your dad? Um, who was your mom? Where were you born? What's your favorite color or something like that. But once you got to know, you know, get to know people, then you realize, Hey, they're just like me. At the in, you know at the core, yeah, we look different, but they still have, you know, fears, dreams, um, want a good life for themselves. They you know had parents that worked hard to get them where they were. They may know their parents, they may not. They may live with their grandmother. It may be you know a different type of family, but there's some dynamic of people trying to better themselves, trying to improve themselves, or some people just trying to survive you know, just trying to be safe. And that's one thing they don't realize. Some kids who have to run the gauntlet just to get to school, right? And then there's others who have a driver that drops them off at school. Two different experiences. And for people to understand that about each other, what some had to go through to get to where they are may have been a totally different journey than you had to have. And that helps you respect other people as well. So you just don't look at them as those people or those, you know, the, you know, the troublemakers. And, you know, you, you, you just see what's going on in our society today. There's so much distrust and um, compartmental, you know, uh, categorization of people as groups and then judging them based upon that. Nothing new has uh, been happening up and down the ages, but it's something that's, that's it's sad that it's still going on now when we, we are supposed to be so sophisticated and, you know, so advanced. 